What is up guys, we're gonna do some lightning pills today in LWC. We can go ahead and dive in and get started. Already had the div set up, uh, the headers, so we can get straight into the code. Um, so just like lightning input, lightning button, we can start this off with doing a lightning pill or lightning dash pill. Um, so we can do lightning dash pill and we can close this lightning dash pill. And in this, slash, in this lightning dash pill, we're gonna need a label and we're gonna href, okay? So these two pills are gonna show a Google link and a Yahoo link. Um, so the label for this one can be Google. And the href is google.com, which I have that over here. And we can go ahead and save that and we can see this first one pop up. And you can see that if we right click it, open like a new tab, it does take us to Google, which is cool. Maybe you want the user to only go to certain websites, right? Um, so we can actually copy and paste this pill and do it right below it. And what we can do is call this one Yahoo. And we can take this to yahoo.com. And to make it pretty, because what they're going to do is be right beside each other, which is kind of lame, kind of looks bad, right? So we can do style equals margin dash right equals 1EM. Save that. Now you can see it looks pretty. They can open up in Yahoo or Google based on which one they choose. Um, you can also make the lightning pill have an avatar. Maybe you have a company website and you want to show all the employees and each pill takes it to a uh, link to show who they are and you know what they're interested in, right? So you're going to have the same concept. It's going to be a lightning pill and make sure you open it like this. And what we're going to do is get rid of the href. The label is going to be the name of the employee. And inside the lightning pills, we're going to put the lightning avatar. So I also already have that. So we're going to copy and paste that as well. Um, because it is kind of a lot, the uh, source images and stuff like that. So just make sure you uh, paste it or write the code inside the closing tag and opening tag of the lightning pill. And I'll walk through this, the SRC is going to be the image that is showing uh, what you want to show. It can be in your, maybe it's on in your own assets and you're showing the employee picture of the person. Um, the fallback icon is obviously when this picture fails, falls back and there's a standard user, which is like a little bubble. I think it's blue and white. And then the variant is circle. You see the image is circle. They have square and they have, uh, they have three or four sorts of variants. And you can look those up and see which one you want. Most people like the circle one. Um, so that is how you do a lightning pill with an avatar. You can make this clickable as well if you would like to. Uh, if you were going to do that, you need to put the href in the lightning pill at the top, not in the lightning avatar. Cool. So now let's make a pill actually clickable. Uh, they have an on click and they have an on remove. Uh, both of those are going to be different functions and it's going to handle differently uh, between which one they pick. Um, for us, we're, they're going to click the pill and they click the actual pill and not the X button, then we're gonna show pop up. If they hit the X button, we're gonna get rid of the pill, show the label. If they click the label, it's gonna reshow that pill. So in order to do that, we are gonna to have to connect the JavaScript to the uh, model view. And what we're gonna do here is actually do template. We're gonna say if true, and this variable, the Boolean that we're gonna keep my phone keeps on going off is called uh, show pill. Close the tag, and we're also going to need another template, which is going to be just like that one, except for it's going to be called if false. False, and we're going to say show pill. Close that one. But here, the top one, what we're going to do. So we're going to show the pill, and we can actually just copy and paste this one. And we're going to put it inside the top template there. And we are not going to need an href. We can keep the label, and we can say pop up. 
poop, poop up, pop up. Um, we're gonna have an unremove tag and an onclick. So the onclick is going to equal to the function, which notice how we're using brackets and not uh, quotations because we're using something that relates to the JavaScript or connects to the JavaScript. Um, this one's gonna be called handle click. Then we're gonna have an on remove as well. This one's gonna be called handle remove. And we can actually show this one. And it's not gonna show because we haven't created that JavaScript variable yet. And inside here, we're gonna show a label. And this label is gonna say uh, show pill. And this label is gonna be on clickable, or it's gonna be clickable, so we are gonna need it on click. And we can actually just set this to the handle remove function as well. And I'll show you why in a minute. Awesome. So we'll take to the JavaScript. We're gonna need a Boolean, which is gonna be show pill, which we just used. I set that to true, and we're gonna need two functions called handle removes, what we called it. And we need a handle click. So in the handle click, we're just going to show a pop up, so it's really easy. We can just say alert, pop up, it's here. And we're in our handle remove, it's going to be a little different. We're just going to set the opposite of what show pill already is. So there's an easy way to do that. And we can say this dot, if I can type, this dot show pill equals the opposite of this dot show pill. And uh, one thing that we will have to do is we have to do it a error prevent default, which is kind of weird, but I will explain that. So by default, the pill, the whole pill is clickable and not just the X, but if we want to do both, then we can create this line right here. And in this handle remove, we're going to pass in an event because that X is going to be its own event. And we're going to save. And what's going to happen here is you have a pop-up pill. You can hit the X and you can see the show pill. And the show pill label is clickable. And what this does, it sets this to true. And now you see the pop-up and you click the actual pill. You'll get a pop-up. Pop-up is here. And here's the JavaScript and here's the HTML. Feel free to pause the video. It was kind of quick. If you have any questions, just post them in the comments.